Welcome back Crypto Gamers. Today we'll be talking about one of the highly most requested games on this channel. So Solana Zarori is one of the finest games which has which works on the Solana blockchain. It is a free to play and new re newly released game and we'll be talking about how this game works and the pros and the cons and everything about the game you need to know. Also we'll be talking about how the game will work and uh, the scope in the future of the game. So let's start with a short description of how uh, Solana's Aurora will work. As first, uh, people who are already on my channel, the people who already watch my channel, they already know that I've talked about games on the Solana blockchain are very easy to operate. And they have a very, Solana is one of the most uh, finest blockchains which uh, games are on right now. They have the minimum gas fees, they have the highest uh, interest in their users. So Solana, that's a very good thing which it has. So the guest fees, even if you buy uh, the Aurora's or the NFTs in the marketplace, the guest fees will be very minimum. I've also checked out the marketplace and I'm going to talk about it further in the video. So let's also talk about Aurora's play to earn coin and the NFT marketplace. So Aurora has uh, NFTs which are basically the NFTs in their game and uh, they also have the Aurora coin, or the Aurora coin as they call it. And the Aurora coin is for around $14 right now. One Aurora coin is costing $14 right now. I've seen before when the game was released, the coin was $22, $20. And now, slowly by slowly, when the game was on too much hype, it was on $22. But now, slowly by slowly, it has come to $14 because the game was released two months ago and now the price is stabilizing itself little by little so you might ask uh, if that's about uh, the Aurora coins so how many Aurora coins does it take to buy an NFT so the NFTs are quite expensive I must say they are not cheap at all uh, the NFTs are start from 20 Aurora coins to 28 Aurora coins I've seen 28 also some of them might cost more than 28 but most of them are cost around 20 26 or 28 Aurora coins which is quite a high price that's 14 uh, dollars per cost of one or a coin and 28 to buy an nft but it has an excited community so when the pop when the game even gets more popular than this many people will even buy uh at a high price of like eighty thousand dollars and even more maybe just like it might be the new xc infinity talking about xc infinity it's a game similar to x infinity is a scroller type of game it has th these creatures which are like pokemon creatures and you have to attack a turn by turn to your opponent and I'm going to talk about the gameplay system, how it works, how the PvP and PvE uh, system works. So talking about the PvP and PvE system, it has uh, two types of gameplays which have uh, I've currently seen. One is the online multiplayer PvP gameplay uh, which is a scroll type of game and the more assurance and the more health you give uh, your creatures, I mean your arrows, the more they can last in a battle. And one is through the computer, you play through AI, you play against AI, I mean. So, in uh, PvP, you can earn more uh, coins than in AI, but in AI, if you play, keep on playing every day, you can earn something just like X Infinity. Most of the X Infinity users might know about it. And this is a, one of the things uh, which makes me determine a game. It's not about how much money it's paying. How much money it's paying is like around the fourth or fifth factor. One of the main factors is it is the game entertaining or fun itself. And yes, I can definitely say this is one of the most entertaining and fun game itself. Is it an AA plus game? Uh, should I say? Is it a three star? I mean, a seven star game? I might not say it's a seven star game right now, but. After some time it will become a 7 star game. So I have a lot of hopes and many people in my community are talking about this game and we'll see how this game works out. Also you guys know when I bring a game to the channel I've made proper research, I went to the website, I read forums about it, I read documents about it and after that that's only when I bring a game to the channel because I only want to bring authentic and realistic games to the channel. I don't want to bring scammer games or games which have no scope. Only the games I bring to this channel are games which have really high high future and really hopes which I have myself so if uh, you appreciate my efforts you, you instead of uh, if you can you can join our channel uh, it's a small membership is if you don't want to join a thumbs up uh, a thumbs up will be enough to appreciate the channel for now because we do not have the membership uh, right now 
so you can also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and more authentic and uh, futuristic games which we'll be talking about in the future so other than that the team also behind Arori has a very good experience there has been Jonathan and there have been other people who have been uh, checking out on their website the good thing you know these games are some of the great games are the ones which keep transparent website if you go on their website and do not find any information about the creators or digitalizers there's something suspicious right there because you see the nemesis and uh, this game the Arori they have kept transparent website they have talked about the developers and the creators of the game if you do not see any information and if it looks a suspicious website to you uh, it means the game might be a fraud but this game is a total uh, indeed it's not a fraud at all it's actually a pretty good website because they have told about the creators of the game and there's been Jonathan who has been working on Valhalla who has also worked on EA games he has also worked on GTA games I mean Rockstar with the Rockstar company and it, has, it they have worked on so many other games past the 10 years so you can see the scope of the game and the investment and time they're trying to put on the game right now so if you want to ask uh, if the Aurora coin the Aurora NFTs are worth buying right now I might say NFTs might be uh, somehow highly priced so if you're buying NFTs uh, you might just wait a couple of months or a cu couple of weeks before buying because I think 22 per uh, Aurora per NFT Aurora coins per NFT is quite high but if you want to buy the coins it's the perfect time to buy coins because two months before people asked me this question and I told them that instead of buying the coin right now buy when the price is after like a month and two months and i'm here two months after and i'm telling you the price has decreased it was around 22 dollars and now it's 14 dollars so my prediction was very right and it was very correct and other than that if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and i'm uh, looking forward to download more of the aurora games